All right, it's another rainy day at the Duport's house. Just my wife and I home. Kids are at school. Making uh, some liver sausage. Liver uh, and heart. And liver, heart, and gizzards. Yeah, gizzards. Uh, we ended up yeah. uh, butchering some chickens yesterday. And uh, how many chickens did you butcher yesterday? Fifteen, maybe? 15? 10? I don't think she did that many. She did like five. No, I didn't. Not you, but, uh, but we figured we'd experiment with some of these things that we don't use regularly on a, on a regular basis. I kind of had a stockpile from uh, the past chickens that I've uh, that know taken what to care do of. With them. So we're going to make some sausage. And I will show you what's uh, what we got going on here. All right. So in the mortar and pestle, we've got... What we got? I'm not going to give the exact equivalents because... I kind of messed that up. We've got thyme, sage, garlic powder, salt and pepper, coriander, rosemary, um, cayenne, nutmeg, and what's the last one? Oh, brown mustard. So yep, we put it all in a the bunch in here. Pencil. Lots of flavors. Sat here grinding it up for a while. Yeah. So it'll be real fine. Tastes good. And these are all the giblets together. Yum. We're gonna simmer them before we grind them. We ready now? You're on video. Okay. Um, so this is a Cabela's 1.5 horsepower um, commercial grade grinder. Yep. Um, we have it set up with the small 4.5 millimeter grind plate. And it's going to go through the meat. The foot bit. pedal. So it's a lot easier than having to hit the switch. Turn it on. Don't stick your hand down. That's the smart thing, too. <laughs> What we're going to do is do a quick grind oh, on this sorry. chicken giblets and um, and then we're going to let it cool down before stuffing it with the kids when they get out of school. Yes, and, they're um, going to want to do that. They're going to want to do that. All right. Put all the giblets in the uh, pot carefully. Uh, oh, yourselves. they stink so bad. It's like <laughs> the worst smell in the world, literally. If you're not a giblet fan. It's bad. Yeah. It can be pretty bad. I'll get a thing. So we're putting all we're the spices. We're gonna add the spices in before we grind. This will help. Uh, there's lots of spices. <laughs> it's we like, won't smell it's the nasty like, chicken. It's like, it's I don't know, so at least you, four tablespoons of spices, maybe more. Um, yeah, there's like probably six. Six or eight. It's probably six, yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe two, uh, three pounds of chicken. <laughs> but hey, it's gonna taste good. Now all right, let's run. Let's get all those spices and goodness. It smells good now. It does smell good. That totally masked everything. Hang on, there's a bay leaf. This one. Don't want to eat that. Woo! It's great having a big grinder that can fit all your And it makes it so fast. And you should have a, see I'm being a mom, the safety. The safety piece in there, which isn't there. Stops you from putting your fingers in there, but there's no kids around. Just, just me. So, let's see what this thing does. You might get a squirt. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I got a meat So satisfying. Yeah. Yeah. the risk of Alzheimer's, heart disease, cancer. And there's your wife always trying to keep uh -huh. you healthy. 
Um, obviously, if you have iron overload, you don't want to have too much of this. So one to two times a week is a good amount for organ meat. Do you have a little spatula? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So we're trying to pay, cook some dinner. Cooking some dinner. <laughs> but we're getting ready <laughs> on the other side of this kitchen to stuff some sausage. So I got this I'm gonna stuff some sausage, sausage stuffer yeah. set up on here. <laughs> yep, kids out of school now. So <sighs> we're going to have fun. <laughs> Stop it, you'll put it all down all the way. Experiments. Yum. <laughs> All right, another casing. All right, um, what do we end up with? Four logs. Four logs, and what are we gonna do to them? Smoke them in a internal temperature of 170. 170 degrees. Is that Fahrenheit internal or Celsius? Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. There they are. Hopefully, they stiffen up and they're sliceable. We'll see what happens. <coughs> All right, real simple setup. Stand up smoker here, nothing special. $30 from Walmart. <coughs> and uh, yeah, we're gonna let them hit an internal temperature of uh, 170. All right, it's been a few days since we uh, tried our sausage and uh, I think it was a pretty good hit. At least we're gonna try again. What do you think? You liked it? Mm -hmm. You liked it? That's Did you good. like it? It was good? Yeah, it was, it was good. good, it was interesting. Weird. Interesting it process, good. weird. Um, but something we're gonna try again so we don't waste anything. All right, so we'll uh, keep you guys posted in the next video. Thanks.